For the first time in decades, the Catholic Diocese of Columbus is releasing a blueprint for its future, and it will mean the end to some parishes and parochial schools. Yeah, details of the pastoral plan for the 23 county Columbus diocese will be released later this morning, but Colleen Marshall got an exclusive first look and interview with Bishop Earl Fernandez. It's been talked about for decades what to do about the declining number of priests, population shifts, and aging church infrastructure. But the deep dive for this pastoral plan actually started two years ago under the leadership of the former Bishop Robert Brennan. Bishop Fernandez took the helm one year ago and says a planning committee of priests, deacons, and lay people made recommendations. But at the same time, I was new here, so I said to myself, I want about a year or so to go out and start visiting the parishes to see the reality uh, with my own eyes. And then I continued throughout the course of the year. I've been out practically every night these days doing confirmation in the different parishes, driving to the different parts of the diocese. The Diocese of Columbus is very vast. It's 23 counties. So you could be up in Ada and Kenton and be in the Diocese of Columbus or Tuscarawas County or down in Portsmouth, and you're still in the Diocese of Columbus. And now the plan for the massive diocese is a reality. Now they asked us to withhold all the details until nine this morning. We can tell you that churches will be closing, those that will merge and how the bishop plans to help grow in the future through evangelism. All of that will be on NBC4i.com beginning at nine. Local for you, Colleen Marshall, NBC4.